Okay. Yeah. Ow. This thing is tanky. This chunky boy is tanky. Let's get in here. And land the silly plane. Ready? Drop him now. There we go. All right. I think that might work. Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to your faces back to another Simple Planes video. Today we are checking out this thing right here, which is actually called the LSR Barbican B, no, HB Mark 1. Now this thing I would like to nickname the Chunky Boy with Tiny Wheels. The Chunky Boy with Tiny Wheels. Apparently this thing is a heavy bomber, which is kind of weird because it's very small. But um, I guess it's quite tall and chunky. So we're going to take off with this thing. We're probably going to try and bomb the USS Beast. Uh, if we can't bomb the USS Beast, we'll go bomb the USS Tiny 2 and that carrier fleet over there. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. But this thing right here was built by Uro Sion. U Uro Sion, I believe that's his name. And uh, it looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get on with it. Okay, so I guess we can just floor it and uh, hope for the best here. Can we actually... Yeah, here we go. Let's get ourselves on the runway. <laughs> because at the minute it's turned itself around a little bit, but that's okay. Whoa, don't tip over too much. We're already in the sky. Look at that landing gear. That's going to make it so difficult to land. <laughs> it's all so close together. It's really weird. Anyway, landing gear is going to go up and into the plane. Very nice. And the landing gear doors will close. And that is awesome. Okay, so there is actually a bunch of activation groups that we need to press. What I think we're going to do, though, is we're going to fly over uh, the USS Beast and the uh, destroyers from the side. Hopefully take out both destroyers as well as the USS Beast, and uh, hopefully that'll work. So, let's go ahead and uh, get our air to ground ready. Actually, no. I think the way it works is we need to turn ourselves around. We've got a stabilization system when we press 1. So, we're going to slap 1. <laughs> Uh, and that should hopefully work. Then we're going to slap two, which is the pilot's bomb site, which is kind of interesting. Uh, and then we're going to press three, which is to open up the bomb bay doors. And then we're going to press four to bomb, to, to drop the bombs. I don't know how this is going to work, honestly, but we'll try our best. So let's get our camera on the inside, uh, in the pilot's seat if we can. There we go. And if I press one and two... That's the bomb site. That's not a bomb site. Three. Okay, we've opened up the bomb bay doors. And uh, <laughs> I don't know how this works. I, I don't know how this could possibly work. But um, we're going to try and just blow up the SS Beast instead. New plan. Although we do actually have a bomb site. So, like, why wouldn't I use this? I don't know why I wouldn't use this. I'm not sure. But, like, we got a light at the top. I don't know how this works. I have no idea how this works, so it's going to be kind of interesting. Anyway, press 4. That sounds awful, but I think it's launched them all. And uh, it should be falling. Oh, this is kind of cool, actually. I don't know. Have we missed? I think we've missed completely. They're down there. They're down there. They're still flying, though. They are still flying. Have I just dropped more bombs? What was that? I think they missed. They did. They missed. Okay, well, since they missed, that means we're not at war with the USS Beast. So how about we try and land it? This plane is so clunky. It's just like, it's just clunking a lot, which is really weird. Anyway, close the Bombay doors. There we go. And we'll turn ourselves around. Very nice. And does it have flaps or anything? I guess it does. Presumably like this is flaps? Or is this flaps? It doesn't have any flaps. All right, cool. <laughs> Let's turn ourselves in. It'll be fine. Here we go. So we don't have a tail hook. Obviously, but I think we've got reverse thrusters. It sounds like it's reverse thrusting right now. Oh, it sounded like it was, but we're going in. Here we go. Very extremely slowly, and it's going to be fine. It's going to be completely fine, I'm sure. Here we go. Oh, God. Okay. 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 Oh, God. Okay, yeah. Uh, the brakes, bit heavy. Bit heavy, but that's okay. Right, so we landed, and uh, it didn't really go well. Um, but, 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 we didn't actually break the helicopter. Helicopter? Plane. I said helicopter because I believe that's what these are made of. 
These look like helicopter rotors. But, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and test out this plane, do another bombing run, and hopefully we'll hit it this time. All right, so uh, we actually have a cockpit that kind of works. This right here is our throttle indicator, which is very cool. Uh, this right here is our... I believe this is our true sight, so our true airspeed, sorry. Um, this one right here is our altitude indicator in Imperial. <laughs> we don't really get to see anything though, which is kind of strange. Uh, this one right here is our altitude indicator, and that one right there is our compass. Very nice. Um, but yeah, this thing from the inside actually looks really cool. I like it. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure how this actually works. Um, we do have a, like, some instructions on how it does work, but what we're gonna do is, I don't know, we're just gonna fly over it and we're gonna hope for the best. So, we're not very high, we are not very fast. Let's go ahead and get in this, right here, press one, two, three, and not four, and get ready to drop our bombs. I can't see, though. <laughs> I can't see where the thing is. We need to head this direction. We really do. We need to head this direction. And then as soon as we're ready, we're going to press 4. And it's going to drop all of the bombs. And it's going to be amazing. Alright, ready? Ready? Drop them now. There we go. Alright, I think that might work. I feel like that might have worked. We've got nothing for anything else, though. We can't actually take out the destroyers. But I hope that that has bombed the USS Beast. And if it has... Oh, it did! We hit it! Why are they so clunky? Oh, God. Okay, we're about to get hit by missiles. We don't have any countermeasures, so we're dead. But... Oh, God. Fuselage has been hit. It's been hit twice. Oh, God. It's been hit three times. We are getting shot. <laughs> we are getting shot a lot. Stop shooting me. Stop it. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think I might have lost... Oh, no, I haven't lost anything. We're good. We're actually all right. What does one do? I can't remember. All right, here we go. We're going to turn ourselves around. Okay. And we're going to fly back towards it. And we're going to do a, um, I don't know, a weird run down the valley. Down the valley of death. And maybe if they shoot at me, we can make them shoot at each other. Ow. Ow. Okay, yeah. They, they are just shooting me. <laughs> They're never going to shoot each other. This is a bad idea. Bad plan. We need to fly really low. Oh, God. Okay. F f through the valley of death. Here we go. Oh, God, no. Okay, yeah, ow. This thing is tanky. This chunky boy is tanky. All right, are they going to shoot each other now? I think they might shoot each other. Uh-oh, rockets are being fired. Rockets are being launched. Ah! <laughs> oh, I think it missed. I think it missed. We got more coming in. Oh, I just exploded. I just exploded. Hot diggity dog. This thing could definitely take some hits. It's actually pretty insane. But anyway, landing gear is going to come up. We're going to drop our bombs. We're then going to return and we're going to go over the USS Tiny. And I think I actually want to attempt to land on that. So let's go ahead and get rid of our bombs. Here we go. Three and four. Let's watch them come out too. Oh, they just fall out like that. I didn't know they fell out like that. Interesting. Okay, and there they all go landing. Okay, very nice. And let's turn ourselves around. And we're going to land on the USS Tiny. This is going to be so difficult to do, but I think we can do it. You know, this thing actually reminds me of a guppy fish. I don't know if you guys have ever seen them, but guppies are very, like, weird looking. Uh, they've got bellies. And this one kind of has a belly, which is very interesting. Also, it's a heavy bomber, but it only carries 10 bombs. That's kind of strange. Um, but it looks weird, and it looks really cool. And the design of it, I love. I actually really, really like this thing. The ball turrets are super cool. The vents on the sides are a good idea. And the cockpit being able to see everywhere is actually awesome. But um, unfortunately, I'm not very good at bombing in this thing. So, I mean, that's my only downside. It's not really even a downside, to be fair. But anyway, we're going to go in for a landing. Here we go. Is that reverse thrust? Is it actually? Because I don't know what that is. All right, here we go. 22%. Let's get in here. And land the silly plane. Oh, okay, I missed. <laughs> I missed. I, um, yeah, I didn't realize how tall it was. But actually, I should have realized because I always knew. All right, so can I even land this thing on an airport? I think I will be able to. It flies actually very stably when it's stably. Is that a word? It fly flies very, it's very stable when, when we're flying it pretty slowly. So 
Uh, we should have been able to land on both the USS Beast and probably the USS Tiny as well, but I didn't. But um, anyway, we're gonna go in. We're going 200 miles an hour, which is a bit fast. We're gonna slow ourselves down massively. I think we do have reverse thrusters or something. Um, and we're gonna land on our back wheels because that's what we need to do. So, all right, there we go. We've landed. Very nice. You see how it dips so much? That's what I did on the USS Beast. The front wheel seems to just break insanely well. Um, but if we tap it, we won't slap our face into the ground. So, um, there we go. We landed. I want to call it the Guppy. It's not actually called the Guppy, but it is a chunky plane. It is a very chunky plane. Um, anyway, I think I'm actually going to end this video here for now. I just wanted to do a video on one plane, uh, just to see what it was like to do a Simple Planes video like this again. Um, and yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. So, I want to say thank you guys very much for an a we be here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.